All righty, here we are, day eight, service to purpose, the mission is you challenge. And my name is Brooks Holland, and my gift is to see the greatness inside of you and help you realize it and pull it out. Because I know everything that you're gonna try and do to self-sabotage and make it so that you don't see it. And it's perfect for today because this video is not at all what I originally had planned because today was one of those days where whew, got my head, ego showed up, and uh, it's actually kind of a perfect lead in to the next parts that we're gonna start going over because it ties right in with that. So you know how, and I'll just use this as an example because I know it resonates with a lot of people, like with uh, weight loss, you know, you start some new challenge or program, you get, you know, for a lot of people, they crush it that first week and they think, all right, man, I got this, I'm on a roll and this is for me, like day number eight. And then I just, that voice in his head started taking over about who are you to be doing these videos? Like, sure, the first one got a lot of views because your wife mentioned it to her followers, but since then... Like, no one's watching your stuff, you know, the the not good enough, all that stuff was just uh, rearing its ugly head, and, you know, you always hear, like, drop out of your, you know, get out of your head, drop into your heart, you know, that sort of stuff, like, oh yeah, I, like, I logically knew what to do, just like the people with weight loss, like, they know they shouldn't eat that large pizza, and they should have the salad, but they do it anyway, and the good news is, is that I did catch myself, so I only stayed in my shit for a couple hours as opposed to spending, you know, days, weeks, months, years, or even decades like it had prior in my life. But that's one of the big things that I'm going to get into in more depth in one of these other videos coming up. But the suffering, I got this from one of my mentors, David Mailer. The suffering is in the avoidance of suffering. So think about that for a second. The suffering is in the avoidance of the suffering. And the reason that is, is because emotions, they literally last for seconds to minutes. But the problem is, is where we suffer is when we don't allow ourselves to feel those emotions. Like there was somebody that I've been coaching, that I've coached in the past, and their parents died. And they had their parents' stuff everywhere to keeping them around. But then what we really got to is that they lost their parents. You know, that's sad. And there's emotion that's tied with that. But the thing is, is for many years, they never allowed themselves to feel those emotions. You know, they wanted to be the strong one at the funeral, you know, maybe you know somebody like that, or maybe that's been yourself where, you know, you get to be the strong one. That's true. There's situations you get to be the strong, but there's also times when you get to confront those emotions. And that's where we really have to face it and we have to feel it. And so that's the thing. If you spend your whole life, you know, worried about feeling alone, that is the suffering because you're just, you're, the suffering is in the avoiding. It's the avoiding the few minutes of sitting with what does it feel like to be alone? And so really that's what I did today. Um, you know, I had some errands to run, so I wasn't in a good spot, but I came home, I went upstairs, closed the door, was just uh, by myself with flops, and I did some of my breathing exercises, which I can, I'll go into later. But I really allowed myself to face it and feel it. I allowed, to, I allowed myself to sit with the feelings of unworthiness. I allowed myself to sit with the emotion of, you know, not good enough, loneliness, not lovable, those types of things. And I allowed myself to experience the emotion. And after a couple minutes, guess what? It was done. Just like a baby cries and then, you know, it's done. It stops. It lasts. I mean, obviously some infants go longer at night. But my point is, you know, these emotions last for seconds to minutes. But the suffering is when we don't allow ourselves to feel. And we stuff those feelings for years and even decades. And that's where the real suffering is. And the reason I was going to, I'm going to go into more depth with this later on is because I really want, because if I'd have known this before doing some of the work that we're going to be going through, it would make it a whole lot easier. Because if you know, okay, this feeling is going to suck, but it's only going to suck for a couple minutes versus 
you know, sitting here dreading it for, you know, days, weeks, months, years, whatever it is. So that was the big thing. I knew I had this thing, so I had to go in there and I had to face it and I had to feel it because what was worse, the suffering was in the avoiding of the suffering, not just sitting there and, you know, having a relatively quick cry, letting the emotions come out and actually feeling them. Because here's the thing, whatever's inside you, it's always going to be there. We're never going to completely eradicate, you know, the feelings of not worthy, not good enough, not lovable. But here's the thing, and this, this also gave me a lot of freedom when I learned this. I also learned this from David as well, is that, you know, parts of me feel worthy, parts of me don't. Parts of me feel lonely, parts of me don't. You know, and it's going to be parts of me that feel that way, and it's going to be sometimes. So these things are never an all or none. Like, you're never going to read a book and be cured. Not that you're, not there's anything wrong with you, but there's no book, there's no one seminar, there's no one anything. Everything is a process that builds on each other. And that's really what I'm doing with these 10 minute videos every day is to open up next steps of awareness. So it's going to be somebody else. All of a sudden you're going to see, you know, going through Instagram, or whatever, you're going to see some meme that, that was posted by, let's just say Tony Robbins. But all of a sudden you're going to have a completely new relationship to that quote you know, because of one of these videos or something something like that and vice versa, you're going to see something and then it's going to land. And so really it's not that any one meme or any anything like that's going to change anything. It's just a cumulative level of awareness. Like there's personal coaches that I've had that they came along, they came along in the right time of my life because if they had come along five years earlier, I wouldn't have had any business in working with them. I wouldn't have been able to appreciate, comprehend, or understand, or even have a grasp of things that they were talking about. So again, that's what I say is you're in the right spot, right where you are, you are, it's perfect. You're not ahead, you're not behind, you're just right where you're supposed to be. You know, because here I am at 43, and you know, I'm basically just getting started. Yes, I uh, sat there, and, you know, with my wife, you know, we worked together and built a multiple seven figure business. And that was awesome. And that was her brand. That was her vision. And so what I'm doing now is I have my own vision and I have the, my own things that I want to work on as well. And so we'll be doing some stuff together, but it's really a chance for me to step out, step out of hiding, step into my own power, step in, own my voice and actually share my gifts as opposed to hiding behind a keyboard for 14 hours a day. So in the end, doing this video, stuff like this, is, uh, it's huge for me. You know, I could have easily just folded, just like, you know, like we've all done with nutrition or whatever it is in the past, but I didn't. So I'm sticking it out. I'm doing this video. There'll be one tomorrow. I made a commitment to myself, but I also made a commitment to you. Because what kind of leadership is that is when the moment things get hard or the moment they get uncomfortable that I quit because that's the thing. It's going to be uncomfortable because that's what the ego does because the ego goes, it wants to keep me safe because when I did take action, when I did do stuff when I in the past, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't perfect. Or at least that's the story that I made up about it. So my ego wants to keep me safe from having that experience again. But in the end, it holds me back from everything that I really want. So when they say lean into the discomfort, that's what I'm doing here. I mean, this video is coming out a little bit later. You know, I was late getting on my workout, but I'm here. You know, I was in the garage in the gym right there, you know, getting it in. I just like I was feeling it. So I wanted to get on there and share this video. So if this lands, if this resonates, if anything, if you can relate to this type of feeling, anything like that, leave a comment below. Let me know your biggest takeaways from this. And again, if you know anybody, because that's what leadership is, is even if you don't have it all figured out, but you see somebody that could find value or benefit in one or all these videos, share the video with them. I'd, uh, I would love nothing more. And uh, I will be back tomorrow. So hopefully that hopefully you got something out of this. This is just imperfect action, one takes, no editing, just making it happen. So there we have it, turn the day around. And so remember, face it and feel it, and the suffering is in the avoidance of suffering. Lean into the, lean into the discomfort, you got this. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, the mission is you.